You could make the best YouTube video in the world, but if no one's searching for that topic, it won't get any views, attract subscribers, or make any money. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how I come up with YouTube video ideas that actually move the needle for my channel. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this happens to be your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and I'm a YouTuber who grew this channel from nothing to over 15,000 subscribers in just 15 months, while also earning four figures a month and counting just from this channel. And if you wanna know some of the marketing tools and AI systems that I've used to help build this channel, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So the very first thing I want to talk about is I want to help shift your mindset into thinking as YouTube as a search engine where people are searching for things to solve their problems versus just an entertainment platform. YouTube definitely is an entertainment platform, but for those who didn't know, YouTube is actually the second largest search engine in the world behind Google, also owned by the same company, Alphabet Inc., of course. So you need to start treating YouTube like a search engine like Google if you want to start getting significant views on your videos. So let's look at my YouTube channel, for instance. I'm in the AI and marketing niche, and so I'm trying to go after various keywords related to AI, marketing, chat GPT, et cetera. And so if you were on Google looking for something in my niche, you would type in something like best AI tools for marketing or content creation. Notice how it, notice how it auto suggests right here. So if we type in best AI tools for content creation on Google, you've probably seen a familiar search results page that looks like this. We have three ads. Uh, we actually have a videos tab. So there's my video ranking right there on Google search results and other results here too that you would typically click on, read an article, read a forum post, etc. Well, you need to apply this exact same philosophy to YouTube. If you go to youtube.com and then up in the search bar, type in something in my niche or whatever your niche is here, like best AI tools for content creation, just like I did on Google, you'll notice the results look pretty different. We do have one ad right here and we have two, two organic videos, another ad, there's my video and then so on and so forth. So the, the principles here of what I'm trying to explain are exactly the same as Google search. You need to think of YouTube as more of a search engine and design your video ideas targeted at keywords versus just trying to come up with random things and hoping people will find it. You have to treat YouTube as a search engine and not just an entertainment platform. So then the question becomes, well, Ryan, how do I know what keywords to include in my video or what keywords should I go after in my niche? And there's a few basic ways that you can research keywords for free. Now, if you wanna get a premium keyword research tool, I use Ahrefs both for Google and YouTube search. You can try the free trial. I'm not saying you have to use a premium keyword research tool like this one. I'll show you a few free alternatives that you can start using immediately. And this sounds obvious, but the first free tool is you can actually use YouTube auto suggest. So I'm gonna refresh my YouTube page here to get kind of get rid of that search history. And then what you can do is go to the YouTube search bar and type in whatever your primary keyword is. So in this instance, let's say I wanna do AI tool reviews. So I would do best AI tools and you'll see down here, so it has some previous searches of mine. I'm gonna remove those quick. You'll see I'm getting an auto suggestion list. Best AI tools 2025, that'd probably be a good video to go after. Best AI tools for video editing, best AI tools for students, best AI tools for businesses, YouTube creators, make money, coding, et cetera, et cetera. And the reason that these are populating inside YouTube's auto suggest is because YouTube knows these are the things that people are searching for. It isn't random that YouTube is suggesting these long tail keywords after best AI tools. So that's one way you can get video ideas. Another way for free is you can hop over to Google Trends and within Google Trends, you'll be on the home tab here. Go ahead and click explore. And what's really cool about this, you'll notice a drop down where it says web search. And right here, it says YouTube search. So now we can look at trending topics just focused on YouTube and not Google overall. So here we can actually find trending queries right now, Squid Game Season 2, Minecraft, Not Like Us, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Or we can add a search term. So again, I'm gonna do best AI tools. And then you can also compare searches if you wanna do that too. We could do like AI tools, for instance. 
And so this is gonna show you the popularity of these keywords just on YouTube. And you can do past 12 months, seven days, 30 days, you can filter by whatever. But what's really cool is if you scroll down, you'll notice an option that says related queries. And so here, best AI tools for viral TikTok content, you'll notice the popularity that that keyword is getting, particularly on YouTube. That might be a good YouTube video idea for my channel. AI video generators becoming more popular. Best AI tools for students. Seven AI tools that will make you rich. AI agent tools, et cetera, et cetera. Now we could literally come over here and do the exact same thing for any other keyword. It doesn't have to just be AI tools or best AI tools. We could do chat GPT, for instance. So if I do chat GPT, you'll notice we'll find some other queries related to just chat GPT. So if I come down here, deep seek, chat GPT 01, chat GPT voice mode, it comes up to 25 different queries down here. Now, it's not gonna be perfect. You're not gonna get all sorts of granular data here, but I'm just trying to show you the very basics of keyword research for free on YouTube is you can use YouTube auto-suggest and also Google Trends. Now, something else I wanna know is that if you already have a YouTube channel on the back end of your dashboard, if you log in where it's showing mine right here and you click analytics on the left menu, there's an option for trends. And if you go ahead and click trends, you're gonna get a screen that looks like this. This is a really great free tool that YouTube added, I wanna say several months ago. I'm not really sure as I don't always remember seeing this here, but we can utilize the trends aspect on the YouTube channel dashboard. And so in this instance, let's say I wanna do Let's do best AI tools again. So it's gonna give me an auto suggest first and foremost. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And what I notice right away is it's telling me that best AI tools has very high interest from my viewers. That's a really cool data point that I that other platforms wouldn't know since I'm searching on YouTube and it knows my channel. But what you'll also notice right here, just some quick searches, what people are watching, you'll notice an option here that says brainstorm video ideas. And if I click that, this is going to generate a brainstorm list based on that keyword of best AI tools that I provided. You can add another one right here if you want. AI tools for video editing, popular topic with your viewers. AI for content creation, AI art generators, AI tools for creative professionals. You can save these ideas, bookmark them, do whatever you want, come up with another one. Uh, so if I do AI tool reviews, and then click get suggestions, it's gonna come up with even more suggestions. So this is just another tool for free that you can use if you already have a YouTube channel on the back end in your dashboard. So now that you understand the basics of keyword research on YouTube, let's expand on that and start to leverage AI for coming up with video ideas. And how do we do this? Well, first of all, I'm gonna use ChatGPT in this example. I'm on the Plus version. You can use the free version, although I would recommend getting Plus. You can use the O3 model, but you can use Claude, Perplexity, and other LLMs for this example as well. So what I'm going to do is I have these prompts right here inside my AI Marketing Insiders community. I will also leave these in the description below this video. So under AI prompts database, I have YouTube prompts. I'm going to copy and paste this YouTube ideation prompt that I came up with that I know works well for me. So I'm going to come back to chat GPT. I'm going to be using the O3 reasoning model in this instance. You can also use GPT 4.0 if you want to do that. And I'm going to paste it in the search bar. Now, one quick thing I forgot to mention, if you're using a chat GPT project, I would recommend starting there first. That way you have all these files, you have some previous memory and history inside a project. So ChatGPT will know you better inside a project versus coming to the main chat, but it doesn't really matter either way. So I'm gonna click new chat, and then here is that prompt right here. Now, what I wanna to mention too, is you'll notice that I have placeholders for insert niche. This is where you would insert your niche. And so for me, my niche is AI and marketing. And so the prompt reads the following. You are an expert in YouTube content marketing and ideation. I have a YouTube channel focused on AI and marketing and need your help. What are some video ideas? So I'm gonna come over to the next placeholder, type in AI and marketing. And then what I'm going to do is hit enter and then I'm gonna skip ahead and wait till this output is complete and I'll explain it further. All right, so after a few minutes, these are the results that ChatGPT came back with. And you'll notice here there's a table that has a title, a target keyword, estimated YouTube searches, and also a one sentence hook. And this is what I asked for in the prompt. And so right here I have 10 ideas. Now again, 
you could ask for 50 video ideas, but we wanna start small. And so I have this filtered by highest to lowest estimated YouTube searches. So for example, top seven AI tools every marketer needs in 2025. That's a very good video idea for my channel focused on AI and marketing. And then it gives me a target keyword. And then there's the hook I could use at the beginning of the video. So on and so forth, chat GPT marketing tutorial, AI versus human copywriting, et cetera, et cetera. Not all of these video ideas are going to be perfect, but this is going to give you one heck of a start that'll help you snap the writer's block if you have no idea where to even get started. And of course, we could expand on this and say, I like video ideas one through five. I'm just doing this as an example. Please come up with scripts, descriptions, et cetera, for each one. So we could literally expand on this table and get more granular. Maybe you want a YouTube script. Maybe you want a description or anything else that keeps moving the needle towards you actually creating the videos. But this is the very first way that you can leverage AI to help with YouTube video ideation. Now, for those who prefer custom GPTs instead of these long prompts, I actually went above and beyond and created a custom GPT just for the purposes of this tutorial. And I will leave a link to this in the description below this video if you want to use it. It's called the Viral Video, Viral Video GPT, excuse me. So if I go ahead and click this conversation starter, when I provide a niche or channel, come up with 10 video ideas. So you can insert a competitor's channel, take a screenshot of it, copy and paste the channel URL, so on and so forth. But I'm going to do AI and marketing. I'm just going to type in a niche. And so when I do that, this is going to come up with a response that should be similar to the one prior. So I'm going to skip ahead and wait till this is complete. All right. So in a matter of seconds, it came up with this table here. Now it is more basic than the previous example. And I could definitely go in and fine tune this custom GPT if you guys want for more, you know, estimated keyword volume hooks and other important elements. But I just got the basics here, title, keyword, and hook. And so here it's giving me ideas, five AI tools, boosting marketing ROI, AI versus human, who writes better ads. These are some pretty solid video ideas that you can use inside this custom GPT if you don't want to use the longer prompts. So now I'm going to show you a little more advanced example of how you can find YouTube video ideas that people on Google and YouTube are actually searching for. And this is more advanced than what I just showed you in these previous examples. So in this instance, I'm using a tool called answerthepublic.com. This is by Neil Patel, who's a popular figure in the marketing space, completely free to sign up. You get three free searches a day, as it says right here. So I'll leave the link in the description below. So sign up for a free plan. And then once you're logged in, you want to enter a topic, brand, or product right here. So I'm going to do best AI tools once more. And so what you can do is make sure that you're in the US or whatever your target country is. I'm going to do English because that's my target language. But the important part that I actually missed here is you want to go ahead and click YouTube, not Google. So I'm going to click YouTube, best AI tools, and then United States English. And then I'm going to click search. So what this is going to do if I scroll down is it generated a flywheel of all these related queries that people are searching for on YouTube related to best AI tools. Now I'm on the Google one here. So if I scroll down, I believe I had a YouTube one. Here it is right here. This is the YouTube version and it looks a little confusing. You'll notice all the related queries, but not to worry. All you need to do is click download image. And once you download that image, drag it off to your desktop. As you'll see, I did that for mine here. Here's my flywheel image. And you're gonna need that in the next step. So once you have this image of the flywheel graph here, come back to chat GPT, and then we're gonna click, well, first you wanna click new chat if you haven't done that. I'm gonna use the O3 model. It's better at reasoning and visualization here. So I'm gonna leave it on O3, and I'm gonna click add photos and files. I'm gonna click it right here, and then we're going to attach that flywheel. And then you're going to wanna use a prompt like this that I've included inside my community. And I will leave this one in the description below as well. I know this seems a little convoluted, but if you follow what I'm showing you step-by-step, step, this will work for you. So in this prompt, I'm saying, I wanna help you to find useful topics for my YouTube videos, for context, here's what I do. So right here is where I'm giving it the context of my YouTube channel. And then I'm saying I've attached an image of a wheel, which includes the most search for questions about, let's see, best AI tools. So I'm gonna get rid of that part here. Based on this attached image, I want you to come up with 10 useful ideas. And then I'm going to click enter. And then I'm gonna skip ahead and wait till this output is complete. 
All right, so after about a minute, ChatGPT went ahead and analyzed all of this data here from relevant YouTube searches based on best AI tools, and then it came up with 10 YouTube video ideas inspired by the search wheel. Best AI tools to create videos in 2025. And then in this example, it gives a little description of what the video idea should be according to ChatGPT. And again, if you don't like this output, we could come back and say, now generate a table with a title, a hook, you know, keyword, keyword data, et cetera, et cetera. You guys see where I'm going with this. I'm not gonna do that in this instance as I already showed you previously what that table looks like, but we could always expand on the first iteration from ChatGPT. The reason that this is different than the previous two is that this is taking information from Answer the Public, which is looking at YouTube search queries. It's looking at Google search data, and it's actually analyzing this image of all the keyword ideas and search ideas, and then it's coming up with video ideas based on that. So this is a little more advanced than the previous two examples. I'm just trying to show you multiple ways that we can come up with good YouTube video ideas that will move the needle based on actual search data. And for those interested in AI automations, I'm actually gonna take this a little step further. And I have a full separate tutorial showing you how I created this automation that I'll leave in the description below as well. And so all this is, is every day if I enable this automation, Perplexity is going to scrape the internet and send me the top AI news stories straight to my email. Well, in the AI niche, news is a big deal. And if you're gonna create content around different AI news, AI updates, you need to be in the know of what's going on. And this automation will definitely help you do that. And so for this instance, this is what my email looks like based on my automation. So it even has the links, I could come off here, but this is just for ideation. Let's say there's something trending in the news and I would have missed it, but due to this automation, it sends me the top AI news every day straight to my email. And if you don't like this format and if you don't wanna get it via email, I set up another automation that sends it to a Google Sheet. And I'll leave the JSON file and all the information below this video, but you could also use this in a Google Sheet. Notice how it has the correct date, headlines, summary, et cetera. So if you're doing any content that's news related, this obviously would be different if you're not in the AI niche. If you're in finance, real estate, et cetera, you would plug in that niche. And then every single day, it would come up with the top news stories in your niche straight to your email or straight to a Google sheet and you could create YouTube content around that. But again, I just wanted to show you and take it a step further of how we can come up with even more ideas with the help of AI automations. So if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you. And if you found value in what I was saying here, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I also wanna hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this topic. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.